really proud of the guys. They've stayed focused uh, for the last nine months. We had a great training camp, and I could tell looking in their eyes last night in our last team meeting that they couldn't wait to get out of, the, out of that tunnel. And, and uh, when they announced 113,000, I know we don't pay attention, but by that time the game was pretty much under 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 control, and and uh, just amazing. You know, the, the fans were terrific. It was a great day for Michigan. Is that as good a first start as, as you've ever had out of a quarterback? Well, just looking at his numbers, I had no idea he'd run 29 times is a lot, 197 yards. But his passing numbers is what some of you know. He had three incompletions, including one at the end, and he was just really sharp. I mean, he was he had a few reads that we could you know he'll watch the film on Monday with us and get and want to have back and uh, but all that. But for a guy in his first start, his decision making both in the run and pass game I thought was really good. And then in the open field, I was proud. Those of you that have uh, heard me yell from the practice field about running north and south, I really thought he did a great job of running north and south and getting vertical. Now, all of our backs did for the most part. And Denard especially, Tay, I was proud of the way he ran and stuck it up in there. Could he show you a little something extra with his toughness in that well, respect? I, yeah, I, you know, he's a very strong individual and a tough guy. He's going to keep getting stronger as, as he grows. You know, he's only a second-year player, but he showed a lot of toughness. And I think our, our, our little running backs did, too. I mean, Michael Shaw, Vincent Smith did as well, and our guys on the perimeter. You know, not a real big team with our skill positions, but they're pretty strong, and they're in pretty good shape. And it's a good physical team we play. Now, UConn's going to win a lot of games this year, I believe. That's what we heard coming into this game, that UConn was a very good team. We knew Randy Edsel was a very good coach. After this game, a 30-10 to 10 loss for UConn, he also spoke very highly of Denard Robinson. Well, I mean, Rich's thing has always been having a running quarterback. You know, and Rich has always been a guy that wants to run, run the football. And, you know, they'll do some things. And, um, you know, Denard Robinson can, can do those things for him. I think he's got the guy in place now. Um, you know, that he's looking for, you know, at quarterback to do the things that he wants to do, uh, you know, offensively. And then they can do enough things in the passing game to, uh, to hurt you. And, uh, you know, they're a good football team. They got, they, got, they got some pretty good talent. How different is this team than maybe the one you saw in Phil Vermont? Well, it's a totally different team because of the quarterback. You know, it's a totally different team. And, uh, uh, you know, he... I think Rich feels, I would say that Rich would feel very, very comfortable with this guy as his quarterback because this is what Rich did when we played him at West Virginia with Pat White. And uh, uh, I'm not saying that he's Pat White, okay, because Pat was pretty good. But I think with, this, with time, I think this young man will have the chance to be a very, very good quarterback.